For 14 seconds, the unmanned Antares rocket ascended into the skies above Wallops Island, Virginia, and then it all went wrong. Hours after its catastrophic failure, we Skyped with the Franklin Institute's chief astronomer, Derek Pitts. Derek, what's your reaction to what you saw tonight? There's always a chance that a connection can fail or a fuel line could fail. The 14-story rocket was loaded with 5,000 pounds of supplies for the International Space Station. While not critical to its mission, the loss is still significant. It's a significant loss in that it's always a cost. It's a major cost. You know, this is uh, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars you know, that uh, is, is destroyed in this uh, explosion. For many others, it was simply disappointing. A group of students from Ocean City High School who had a science experiment on board the rocket saw it crash from near the launch pad. Tonight, one of those students, Christina Redmond, tweeted, that was the most tragic and scary thing I've ever witnessed. Everyone from OC is okay, and we are praying for everyone else involved. Indeed, that's the silver lining. No one was injured. Late Tuesday, NASA said there's plenty of time for a future mission to resupply the space station. We will fly again as soon as we can safely, uh, with confidence, and as soon as we can start delivering cargo to the space station again. Derek Pitt sees the crash not as a setback, but as an opportunity to learn. What we do from this is we learn what happened, we can diagnose this problem, figure out what the problem was, and fix the problem.